what is up everyone mini truck mommy here back again with another video and today i have a different type of vlog for you guys i am sitting in my brand new well not brand new but brand new to me my brand new truck that i just picked up this truck is my dream car i have been wanting this truck for so long can you guys guess what it is no well let me show you guys what i got today now a lot of people are gonna say yeah i was impulse buying yeah you don't need another truck but everyone knows i do need another truck so <laughs> but let me show you guys my new car that i got i am so excited um i have so many words so many things i want to tell you guys so let me just show you isn't she beautiful? I'm gonna do a whole walk around of the car. Give y'all an idea of what I have to work with. It's really cool seeing all this old German engineering at work. This is a 1.6 diesel engine, four cylinder diesel engine. It's the first diesel I've ever owned, so we have a lot to go through and a lot to cover. So, so far, we haven't tried starting the car because it had no battery, but we got a battery from AutoZone, a couple new terminals. We're gonna try and start her up today. We just got back from Santa Maria. We drove almost 400 miles to pick this baby up uh, from Santa Maria to Los Angeles. To the south bay and uh now she's here in my garage i don't know the mileage that's on her let's see what the odominant is 147 well, let's go in the interior we got these cool little clips got a side mirror now we got some of the original interior intact. Looks like the seats, I don't know if these were the original seats, but the seats are still intact. All right, so my hair, a little weird. But I'm in the dash of the Volkswagen and I just noticed something. Um, it says turbo pressure. Is this engine turbocharged? Well, I know nothing about diesel Volkswagens. Um, this is all very new to me. Um, I've worked on like Volkswagen Jettas and Passats before, but like not like an old, an old truck like this. So there's gonna be a lot of weird stuff. I'm probably gonna start noticing. Um, I may or may not know how to deal with. Uh, let me show you the little turbo pressure. Yeah, so first it says pyrometer. And we got turbo pressure. Oh, I know what that is. Okay. And then we got... I'm trying to figure out what the fuck this is. Someone help me figure out what the fuck this is. Got our nice little cage for our battery. I love these cages. They're very freaking cool. And then we have our indicator lights. Do the horns work? No, no battery. It's in the glove box. Oh, a broken mirror and some safety glasses. Yeah, the carpet's kind of torn down now. It is stick, you guys. It's got three pedals. It is freaking stick shift. Um, so, apparently, the person who owned this before tried to either do a bio diesel conversion or a methanol injection set up so it's 
smells kind of weird. We got a fluid in there. This secret box full of unknown food. Looks like we got ourselves some bed hooks. The bed is probably the worst part of this car. Get a look from the back though. Look at that sexy beast. Look at that. Oh my god, I can't believe she's mine, you guys. And we're peeking under to see where to hook the toe straps to. We we're just really interested by this straight axle rear end. It looks so much different compared to like the American or Japanese cars. So I'm really excited to mess with this. Also got a little freaking tow hitch already. It's already got a freaking tow hitch. Look at that. Got our gas, gas or huh, diesel, check engine oil, diesel fuel only. <sighs> Got our exactly how I thought you guys no cleaning yet no modifications just our baby she got some nice little fender flares on her look at that So that's the car um i see all the basic necessities here except for a battery and okay this is a little weird this looks like some back to the future <laughs> filter, filter minder okay all right. i'm not afraid to say i don't know what the frick is anything on this truck hey it's got coilovers look we got. Hey, it's got coilovers. We got a pressure. Oh, it's got coilovers. Oh, oh, oh. I think those it's, are coilovers. Oh, I think. JB thinks those are coilovers, you guys. I think we're in business now. All right. So, me and my man wiped down the Volkswagen a little bit, and it's looking pretty good, you guys. You know, clean the windows, clean some of the dirt. I'm excited about this, baby. But if you guys want to see more the volkswagen rabbit caddy pickup truck on my youtube channel please comment below comment on my instagram tell me you want to see this thing um because i would love to start making more videos of my restoration process i am pretty sure i'm just gonna leave this truck stock um the plants are a full lavender paint job and girly glam this is going to be my girly glammed up truck and my little Hilux is going to be my little goth, goth alien chick. So, you kind of get the vibes for uh, 
what I got planned now. Um, this is my freaking dream truck. I've been wanting this truck ever since I set eyes on my Toyota pickup. Um, I've wanted a uh, Volkswagen Caddy pickup. These trucks are really rare. These trucks were only manufactured from 1981 to 1983 in the US because this is a German car. So these trucks are really freaking rare and I never thought I would be getting my hands on one so quickly. I just wanna say shout out to the badass follower that hit me up throughout the years. Now I've been having my eye on this pickup for a long time, you guys. I got this pickup from one of my followers who is just, you know, a car person, mechanic person, whatever it is, they had a truck and they knew that it was my dream truck. So they specifically went through all this stuff and made sure to hit me up when the truck was ready to sell. And it's just crazy how social media can really help you out sometimes. Like this is literally my dream and I wouldn't have gotten it without for having that follower message me. Um, even my account deleted, um, this guy messaged me and was like, hey, I still got the VW and I was like, no way, you know, you found me like this is crazy Like I thought, you know, I lost everything. So it's just really cool to see like if you wait for things and you really work hard You will get them back. I fucking promise you guys like I'm I'm so fucking happy like this is my dream truck um, I'm very just proud of myself and happy that I've been able to get a hold of all of my favorite cars and have the chance to work on all them and now i'm gonna be figuring out how to this vw truck so i don't know i just wanted to tell you guys where it came from because a lot of the times you know you just go buy a car and you you look for it and then you buy it but this person hung on to this car and you know, even with many people offering for it, he held it on for me. So I really appreciate that. I'm always going to remember that in my heart. So if you guys want to see more of the Volkswagen Caddy pickup, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I dropped this. <laughs> if you guys want to see more of the Volkswagen Caddy pickup, comment below, like this video, share this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications to find out find out when I'm going to be posting another video on my channel. Now, I do have a lot of things to do. I have my El Camino still. I have my truck. Now I have my Cressida. Um, so this thing's going to kind of get pushed into like the daily driver list. So the modifications or, you know, little color addition that I add to it, because I don't, I don't really want to do too many mods. Um, I kind of want to keep it as stock as possible as I can. Enjoy the truck not rip it apart and customize it to be a freaking Chevy or whatever. <laughs> you know, Chevy and a Volkswagen or Volkswagen and a Chevy, whatever the fuck goes on and through my brain. I'm gonna keep this stock and appreciate it because it is a rare in, it is a rare car. So Did you just hit the horn? <laughs> when you were doing that you hit the horn. <laughs> so I'm just I'm planning to keep this thing stock. Um, so make sure you turn on post notifications so you can see what I'm doing next to the Volkswagen. Um, I have a feeling I'm already going to have to replace the clutch on this thing. So hint, hint, that might be one of my first jobs. Um, <laughs> the transaxle, uh, I, ha I haven't done too many of them. I mainly messed around with transaxles when I was in school. So I think it's going to be a fun time trying to uh get this thing going but it runs it drives let me uh start it up for y'all in case it starts right up all we did was throw a battery in it because i showed y'all when it when it didn't have the battery in it we pretty much threw a battery in it and now it's running literally laying coal on these hoes but this thing is so cute and badass, you guys. Um, the clutch is probably our main concern right now and the shifter because it is... Does this thing have a first gear? It is so hard to get into first gear. Um, the first time I tried to drive this, I put it into third gear and I knew something was wrong. So, 
like I said, we're probably gonna end up replacing the clutch or whatever else on this baby, but she's purring right now. She's running, you guys. <laughs> it sounds like a turbo's in there. Pop the hood. He's gonna pop the hood because. You gotta pull it hard. Because us as mechanics, we are not fooled. We hear something in that little engine over here, okay? I may not know everything about diesels, but I hear I hear a little psh. Rev it. There's definitely a turbo on it. Oh, there's definitely a turbo. Definitely a turbo. <laughs> Alright. So I think I think with that being said, I think I'm gonna end this vlog on a good note. Um, like you see here, we're already starting to clean up the Volkswagen. I'm gonna be planning on prepping her for paint one of the first things i want to do is paint her the color that i want and clean up everything and figure out what all these random gauges are for see if we can hook up the turbo pressure gauge that isn't working see if we can figure out what this little snow performance gauge is if any of you instagram mechanics want to uh enlighten me and we also have one more gauge that i don't know what the heck it is and i think i already said this before but it's called the Pyrometer? Anyway though, I had a lot of fun filming this video. I'm having such a great day. My baby is home, made it, made it back, drove almost 400 miles. <sighs> I'm pretty stoked. So be sure to watch out for another Volkswagen video. I know you guys didn't expect me to get this. Thank you for watching and remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. I know, I know I already said that, but make sure you do it again. So with that being said, see you guys next time. Do it. Is there a boost? No, no turbo pressure. Do it? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs>